Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess and if you like all things makeup related with some vlogs and fashion then this is the channel for you and I would really appreciate it if you could like, subscribe and comment that would really help me out a lot. But for today's video we are going to do a full face of drugstore um, makeup. A lot of it is revolution um, just because I think they're kind of killing it with the drugstore prices and they release some really good products so we're gonna jump right into it so i'm gonna quickly moisturize my skin and i'm going to use the revolution hydration boost this is in the watermelon uh, smell and it looks like this it is really nice for like a quick moisturizer i'm not going to place loads on i'm just kind of going to dot it around my face and I'm having like a breakout here uh, I'm not doing much this afternoon my top keeps falling down so sorry if I'm like adjusting it so I'm going to go in with a well I would say it's quite new from Revolution this is the primer so it's a gold elixir priming serum it looks like this I've got this one and I've got the pink one but we're going to try the gold one today go into oh I've just pulled that apart and like that's kind of came off that's weird I'll pop that on the side for now I'm going to just go shut it I'm gonna do this I'm going to put it on me a full like drop on my hand and just I did use this a few weeks ago and when I put it on with my um with my foundation, it's an infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation and I am in the shade 130 True Beige. I'm just going to pump um, like a pump and a half on the back of my hand. I think that's quite a lot but I don't know if you guys can see. And I'm just going to dot this all around my face with my beauty blender. If it does anything. I think I would have to try that a bit more just to see and I'd have to try the pink one but it definitely hasn't not that I can tell hasn't done much to my skin tone and then we are going to go in with the concealer and this is the Heartbreakers Revolu I Heart Revolution um, concealer in the shade Custard I don't like the applicator on this, I think it's so tough, so I'm not a fan of the applicator. I just think it takes forever to get like the right amount of product onto it and obviously I think it's cute packaging but is it necessary for the heart? Probably not. I'm just going to dab this all out. I don't have... I'm going to go in with the I Heart Revolution Coconut Powder. It looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see it with all the lights and stuff, but it is really nice. Um, I do think it has a bit of a drying effect on my eyes, but it does the job for the price. So I much prefer the RCMA uh, like powder. But I'm going to try and keep um, this to like more affordable ones because I know this is a lot cheaper than the RCMA even though the RCMA is very cheap. And this is looking so intense on camera. I'm going to put lashes on today uh, so you guys can kind of see how it looks with lashes. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go in with that. So I've just placed this where I get oily. I am going to go in with a contour now. Again. This is Revolution, it is the I Heart Revolution Light Contour Palette. I think this is quite new. Um, I've still got the sticker on because I haven't used this yet. And it's got the contour and the highlight like that. And I'm very pale so this is the light one. I'm just going to go and dab my brush into the contour. Just place that where the contour would be. 
Now I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques contour brush and I'm just going to dab away because I don't want it on too long and I'm going to blend out the creases on my eyelid because I don't want it on too long so it's like makes a white cast. So next I am going to go in with like a warmer shimmery bronzer and this is quite an oldie I think. I don't know if they still sell this. Maybe it's in the sale. Uh, it is the Revolution um, Renaissance Illuminate in the shade Blissful Bronze. So that it's got like a clasp when you open it up and that's what it looks like on the inside. Yeah. So I'm just going to go in um, like with the first two lighter shades because that would be too dark for me. Again on the MAC big blending brush and I don't know the name. You guys don't have to do this step. I'm just running this underneath and as well I'm going to go in back in with the Real Techniques brush. Dab it, ever, dab it ever so slightly. Try and knock off as much excess as you can and I'm just going to place it here just for a bit more warm. I'm also going to do the same with the blush. A bit more warm and I kind of think it brings it together. I don't know if it's coming up on the camera. I can find him. There he is. My Max Dipplin brush and it looks like that. And I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Life's a Peach. I got this off Amazon um, actually and it does smell like peaches. I think it suits quite a lot of like, lighter skin tones. And again over this area. Just so it brings it together and down the cheekbones and I'm also going to place it here just for an extra luminous look but I do really like this so far. Next I'm going to go in with, I mean look at the packaging, they have Revolution as always, Revolution Pro and I did buy all three. I feel like I'm going to go for the Rose Fresco and uh, we're going to try and use the highlighter and maybe try yeah, let's try the highlighter. So the highlighter is the first one. If you guys want to see me like testing these, just using these as a whole, then comment down below and I'll make sure I do that for you guys. So this is the Morphe 510 brush. I'm just going to go in with again this first shade here in Rose Fresco. And I'm just going to, oh, it does, oh, it does have a lot of kickback guys. Oh, I don't know if that comes up on camera, but that's, it is lovely. But go in with a light hand. I'm going to see if I can turn this light off quickly and if it will help. Yeah, this is better. So I don't know if you can see, but that's picked up as like a full glitter on my skin. I'm going to try this palette. It's Revolution. It looks like so. And it is the Forever Flawless Namaste palette with Cannabis Sativa. And look how nice the packaging is out front. Sorry, you guys can see my lights. It's beautiful. I think I'm going to go in with a neutral, easy look. Because I feel like I need to play with the glitters a bit more. So I'm going to go into the shade Chant, which is like this bright orange there. Second one down, and I'm just going to place that all over my lid, eh, all over my crease, sorry. With a big blending, with a big brush, 441 brush. I'm just going to place that in my crease, along the crease and into the middle. So that's kind of how it's appeared there and then I'm going to go in with the shade Yogi which is like a there is a lot of fallout guys like a chocolatey warm brown it's this one there 
just going to focus that on the inner part of the crease and I probably shouldn't have gone in with such a big blending brush but we'll make it work. I'm going to go in with a smaller one. So I just placed it on the outer part of the eye and on, up on the crease. I'm going to go in to blend this out with the Morphe 330 brush. And I'm going to go back in with a clean blending brush. I'm going to use the Morphe 433. This is just a clean one. I'm just going to blend out the edges at the top. Easy to blend and to get them to kind of all merge together. I am really impressed with this Revolution palette. Very impressed. I am going to go in with the glitter. So let's, I'll come back. Give us two. Go in with like a small brush in the Morphe 213. It's so tiny. But I think it'll give me like the correct precision for the glitter primer to like be in the place that I need it to be. So I'm just kind of, I'm going to do like a half cut crease with this. Right. So I'm going to go back in, in the same brush that I used this to apply the glitter primer. And I'm going to go in with the shade. This is just popping out to me with this look, the Namaste. And it is, I think it's a pressed glitter. So I'm just going to go in. Oh, I think this might be a to use your hands. Oh, yeah, guys, definitely go in with your hand, um, your finger, sorry, to pick up this one. It is very pigmented, and it definitely picks up. This is a very. <laughs> I'm going to go back in with the small Morphe brush, the 213. I'm just going to see if I can get like a more precise um, eye look with this, like a brown, to try and like get this to look a bit more together. Um, I'm going to go back in with the Morphe 330 brush. And I'm going to go in, it's not really a darker brown. I'm going to try Tranquility. And if not, I'm going to go back in with like a darker brown um, from another Revolution palette. Because if not, it's really... Maybe if I go over the crease, it's really not going to... Right, so I'm going to try and go in with the silver, just to maybe see if I can blend it out with the eye. I am going in with the silver shade, which is in Wise. I'm just... And I'm going to go back in with the Tranquility colour. And I'm just dabbing that. in the corner and through the crease the issue is it's like it, the glitter just gets everywhere absolutely everywhere and I really want to go in with like a deeper brown than this but there isn't one on the palette so I think we should have thought about this because that gold glitter is quite deep um, for like a lighter skin tone so maybe bringing out like a deeper brown And I'm going like straight away into the bottom of my eyes, you can see, and blending it up. I'm going with this. I'm going to go back in. Okay. Um, I think it just looks like it's everywhere 
I know this is some people's cup of tea, but it's just not mine. And I'm going to go in under my eye, see if I can try and build it up a bit, um, like make it a bit more lovelier. And I might feel differently once um, I kind of place it under my under eye and things like that. I'm just kind of maybe make this a bit <laughs> I am not a fan of this look guys at all um, I really like the shadows though so I am going to try and play around with glitter a bit more because maybe it's just my application and that's okay and I think my eyes are super dark so I'm going to go in and apply some lashes these are the Cinderella um, I've used these quite a few times now these are the Cinderella lashes. Um, by so that's my lashes applied. Do you know what it is? With the lashes, it doesn't look as bad. I think next time I do this, I think I would rather um, keep it in the middle. And it's quite hard for these lashes to stick. With the glitter. Yeah, it's quite hard for these, so this is how it looks with the lashes. It is bringing the look together, but it's not sticking to the inside of my eye. Yeah, so, you know what? With the lashes, it does look a lot better. Um, it does look more tied together. It doesn't look as crazy, so I do think that's tied it in a lot. I think it's going to take more of me playing with the lash glitter, uh, the glitter glue, the pressed glitter glue, and that's okay, um, to kind of know how to work it and what looks best for my, like my type of eye. Um, but I do think in terms, I do like the colours. I just wish maybe they had a lighter gold because that's quite a deep gold and I'm quite fair, so it looked crazy. But I do think with the lashes, um, the deeper colour has made it look a lot better. Um, hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going so I am going to go in with the revolution glory lip liner it's like a dark brown as you can see um, So that's kind of, oh, that looks horrible. That's my lip liner applied. My lips are kind of uneven, but I'll straighten it out with when I record, uh, when I put the lip liner on. So there's two seconds, I'll grab a lip. So I have grabbed for lips, uh, lips, and this is the Revolution Bear 
here, um, the Bear Collection. I think it's in like the neutrals, the nude one in Mannequin. So I'm just going to put this all over my lip. I think I'm going to have to go in with the darker mood because that looks strange. Yeah, I'm going to have to go in with the darker nude, I think. But I do really like that nude. I can blend it in a bit more with my finger. It might look okay. kind of got it to blend and for some reason I'm really liking it I don't know just something about it kind of being dark and then I'm going to go in like I think it's changed the colour but I really like it and then I'm going to go in with the lip gloss um, by Revolution again and it is called Bear All I haven't used this in forever so we'll see yeah it's just kind of coming up as a clear gloss over the top of this look but I really like it just for a bit of extra added shine obviously you don't have to do this but I'm loving glosses at the minute I shouldn't make your lips so much fresher so this is the finished look guys I really do like it the more I've got my lashes on and it kind of looks a bit more like together I really do enjoy it so I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video this is the finished look I really hope you enjoy the video and if I would really appreciate it, if you guys could like, subscribe and comment down below and let me know what you do. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today 